Peter here. Peter! Thank God you made it. Are you there? Is there a doctor? Can someone come and pick me up? I could, but there's no doctor here. No doctor? Who's there then? Uh, well, there's... there's nobody here. The place is abandoned. Hello? Floyd, it's not just that the place is empty. Ev everyone's things are here. There are just no people. It's like, they it's like they've all vanished. Well, they might be out on some kind of exercise, a research trip, something like that. Take them a vehicle and head it out. Well, maybe, but there's a vehicle here that's been abandoned too. That doesn't sound right. And wherever they went, they, they went in a hurry. Uh, there's footprints everywhere. And they left a mess in their living quarters? What kind of mess? Broken glass, uh, an overturned chair, that sort of thing. Like, like they've been fighting? What, well, maybe? Or, or maybe there was an emergency, someone got sick or something like that. Oh, listen to me. I don't like the sound of this. I want you to get out of there as quick as you can, you hear me? Out, in, out into that again? No. Where would I go, back to you? Attacked? Th this is a research station. Who would attack this place? Soviets. Soviets? Here? The Cold War hasn't been so cold around here recently. People are ticky. I've heard stories of shots being fired. And you can kill a dozen men down here and no one will know about it. You're being paranoid, Floyd. I've met the guys who work at Deception Point, mate. They run a tight ship. It's not like them to leave it completely deserted without telling anyone. And now you're telling me there are signs of a struggle? You can't rule it out. I don't like this. I... I think I should come back. No. No, there's a chance I can raise someone from here, but if you come back and I can't, then we're back at square one. Better to have us both on their case. Look, I'll keep trying on the radio. You've got to move on. Get out of there, quickly! What about you? First things first, don't worry about me. You want more help if you keep yourself safe. You're in the radio hut, right? Anything in there which could help tell where we are? There's a map here. A map? Right. Well, what's on it? I, I can see where I am. The base at Deception Point. Okay, okay, great. Anything north of there? There are more buildings to the north. Do you know what they are? More buildings? I know the Norwegians are stationed out here too. That, that'll be the Norwegian base. I'm, I'm guessing they're not a threat like the Soviets. Don't worry. The Norwegians are allies. They'd help us. Just pray there'll be someone there when you arrive. Got them. Uh, got them. Well, that's something. Let's hope they fill the tank up. Can you see a route on the map? Any landmarks to follow? Um, up ahead, there's there's some kind of huge rock marked on here. A c cathedral rock. Looks like the highest point around. Maybe I'll be able to see the Norwegian base from there. Sounds like that's your first destination. Peter, can you see anything you can use as a weapon? Got my hands, that's all. Well, don't go searching for one if there's nothing else in there. You don't know when they might come back. And get to the vehicle and head to that rock as quickly and as quietly as you can, alright? 
just make sure you send those flares up so I can find you again. Floyd, are you still there? Uh, uh, sorry, I hit the roof, my leg. Look, don't hang about, Peter. Get going, for Christ's sake. I'll keep broadcasting on this frequency when I can. Try and pick it up again when you get to the base. I will, and, and remember those flares. Yeah, I heard you. Look, I've got to go. You just get to that cathedral rock. Over and out. Thanks for picking me up like that. I'm absolutely soaked. I must have looked a terrible state. You must be freezing. I don't know what happened. The bus just didn't turn up. Sorry, I think I'm sitting on something. Sorry, it's your peepers. Oh, I haven't got them all wet. Oh. Uh don't, don't worry about it. So this is your grand tome about the clouds. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Of course. I mean, if you can understand. Excuse me? I'm sorry, my goodness. What? Do you have a right to be here? You know, I have earned my place. What are you talking about? Maybe this is a bad idea. I don't want to read them anyway if you don't think I can understand them. No, 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 no. I, I meant they're probably illegible. I meant you might not be able to read them. That's all. Oh, oh sorry. Just, oh, I get that kind of thing a lot. I'm a bit sensitive. Crosswise. I thought, thought you morphed into my old professor there. My office. See me. Anyway, sorry. As I said, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> t take a look if you like. Oh, uh, thank you. I can see you're an excellent note-taker. Well, the rest is probably classified. <laughs> Top secret. And where is yours, may I ask? May I read that? Stop it. You haven't started it, I know. I will. I haven't had three years. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit low. I'm just a bit tired at the moment. My proposal was rejected again yesterday. It needs more work. You can talk to me, you know. I know what it's like trying to find the right subject. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever find it. My friend Molly's nearly finished hers, and here I am, not even at the starting line. Well, if you're anything like as successful as you are with your lectures, you'll be fine. Thanks. Doctor. I'll, uh, I'll just put you safe down here. <laughs> Cambridge. Even on a day like this, I do love this journey. To the university, you mean? Yes. Well, I'm enjoying it too. 
picking you up in this mighty steed? <laughs> oh, yes. He needs a big bus when you can have a car like this. Your presence tells me this is obviously better for picking up ladies. Oh, well, you can just about fit one in if that's what you mean. Anyway, this bus will do just fine. Thanks again for getting me out of the rain like that. It was... Don't mention it. No, uh, no it was an inconvenience. It won't happen again. This is the BBC Live program. Here is the news. Talks began today in Washington between Britain, the United States, and Soviet Russia over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty, which forbids any acts of military aggression in Antarctica. Reports of recent skirmishes on the continent have established the need to reaffirm the worldwide commitment to peace. All eyes will be on Russia, whose reported reluctance to rejoin the talks is a point of concern for the British government. In a statement read outside the White House, Prime Minister Macmillan called on Russia to engage in the talks wholeheartedly to ensure a lasting peace in the nuclear era.